where's old Roach, buddy? At? <laughs> Except a fire site leads with copious amounts of liquor. Roach? <laughs> Add plow into the mix and it doesn't get Rosalie. any better. Right out here. Luckily, the commandant's provided it all. Lead True. Okay. Maybe <laughs> Come here, lass. All the way out. Your uncle's got a story for you. So long as he can afford So let's get out of here. I can actually forge that silver sword now, thanks to the. Don't forget your blade. Oh. Ooh, apparently I level up too. Wait, where's my sword? Wait. Did I get everything? All my stuff? Which actually is the best? 8 to 11. 8 to 11. 12 to 16. 5 to 10. 10 to 13. Albert. Wait, my armor? What happened to my armor? A stroke us out of Ah! Crap, I'm too fat! God dang it, hang on. I need to find a place to sell crap. Surely there's somewhere to sell in here. Somewhere. What did he say? Found a selling place. Woohoo! Now I really want to find some place like that. Uh, interesting. I didn't really buy anything. I need to find some place I can make stuff. What's going on over here? About what, new boy? Maybe we ought to try some honest work from time to time. I need to find some place where I can actually try to make us the silver sword. I got all the ingredients and the plans for it now. And I have a feeling I think I did a little bit of running around that I'm probably not gonna put up on YouTube. And I could not kill crap. Okay, that doesn't look like some place I wanna go into. I found a maybe crafting place. I'm gonna see if I can't make something. Hey boss, look who's graced our smithy. Of course the smithies are dwarves. That titan of the art of smithing can't hear us. Busy, works a blur in his hands. And how are you, witcher? Things working out for you? Nice workshop. Bah, it's no workshop, just a simple forge. But thanks for the compliment, both in my name and the master. So, how can we help you, eh? I want a silver sword. Craft me an item. Wait, is this it? Witcher's silver sword. Robust Witcher's silver sword. 10 to 17, 12 to 18. I'll take that one. Woohoo! Alright, so I got. I have a silver sword now. Awesome. Sword for monsters. Alright. Who's the Witcher? Can you agree? No, I don't know. Pay no attention to the guy with a giant halberd on his back. Is this the end? Let me in. Ah, oh, there's the dwarf from that guy. Um, it's not on this floor, is it? How's it going? <laughs> Damn, that was close. Inkeep! Vodka! Tris Merigold. Lies eat me, but you are a treat to behold. Uh, just a little pale. Magic takes its toll, but I'll be alright. Good to see you in your beard again. I'm guessing these Somebody are characters tell me from the first game. You set off a month ago for Zoltan's wedding. Well, I've got fucked. There will be no wedding. Did you hear about Fortest? Rumors travel faster than the wind. Winds and rumors. I want to know the truth. I want to know how Foltis died, and the dragon. Was there really one there? And who rules Temeria now? Dandelion, calm down and choke on your liquor. He wasn't even drinking. Uh, don't really care about your Trace. wedding. I'm really sorry, dude, You're but I don't. Temeria. Tell us who's in charge now. It's chaotic and getting worse. The old families are fighting for supremacy, no holds barred. Baron Kimbleton, Count Merivel, I bet. Among others, after the assassination, while Geralt was in the dungeon, the Lords convened in a field near Lavalette Castle to choose a new ruler. Three days they debated, and it looked more like a bazaar than a meeting of nobles. Except the trade was in court and ministry positions, spheres of influence, royal privileges. 
humans. <laughs> in spite of several duels and two poisonings, no king was chosen. Civil war was in the air. No mages around. Any resolution? Did they ultimately resolve anything? No. It ended as usual. Sadly, John Talis remains our only hope. Ah, the victor at Brenna and Foltest's most tried and true field commander. Hmm. During the deliberations, he was several days' march from Lava at Lance, with an additional 2,000 army men in tow. He's to keep the peace until the rightful monarch is chosen. He could find that ruling is to his liking. Natalis is a soldier at heart. He's not suited to rule, and I don't believe he even wants to. He's got the army behind him. Which is why he can guarantee peace. Why, well, a tenuous one, sure, but that's always better than civil war. Besides which, he's deeply in debt to a dwarven bank in which Philippa Eilhart as sorceress holds significant stake. That's enough I politics. Think I've heard enough about politics. About the king. Foltest killer lay in wait in the tower where the lava lamps had hidden the royal bastards. He was well informed. Wait a minute. What were you doing there? I was protecting the king. After the first attempt, Foltest began treating me as his lucky charm. He ordered me to be at his side during the battle. The dragon separated us from the rest of the army. The killer disguised himself as a monk, a blind one at that. He let Foltest greet his children until I had walked off and cut the king's throat from ear to ear. Who did he flee? Jumped out a window into the river below. Yorbeth Scoyatel was waiting in a boat. It was planned. And you're chasing him because he murdered the king? I was accused of a murder. I need to clear my name. Besides, looked him in the eye before he escaped. He's a witcher. Then some brave Temerian soldiers showed up, piled on me, and knocked me out. Oh, something. Save yourselves, good folk! The beast Whoa. attacks! Okay, so much for getting information on the get beach. Someone's casting spells. It looks like I'm fighting the thing already. Can I quick save, please? Whoa! And the dude just walking off like, I don't care. <laughs> That's a pretty sturdy bridge. Jeez. What sort of sorceress are you? A lot of good you did. She drove the Can't thing off. Can't you hear me? Why didn't you help him? He's alive, isn't he? The beast nearly pulled him in the water while you stood staring like a calf at a shit-covered clover. Watch your words. Where's this beast? Ask her. Geralt. Ah, I guess we knew each other. Oh, look here. Birds of a feather. Let's say... I've heard of you. Master Witcher, this is foolish. The beast near pulled Sozek into the depths, and you're simply chatting oh, with this damsel. Up. Yeah, but Sozek's out. alive, and nowhere near the depths. The monster's vanished without a trace. You best take us seriously, lest you vanish without a trace. Oh, bring it. I... I'm tired of your whining. Get out of here. I'm to go. Not likely. You get your ass out of flotsam, wanderer! Do I have to, like, level up? Oh, am I gonna fight him or something? Oh, I am fighting him. Oh, 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 shoot. Oh, shoot. S. W. Hey! Oh, stay down! B. W. Oh, stay down, punk. B. After a minute, I'm not exactly a fan of the ty this typing, fighting thing, but I guess it works. <laughs> I apologize for interrupting, <laughs> but I am Louis Merce, and I am chief person like, in charge like of all matters just related to monster guy. hunting in Flotsam. <laughs> It is in this capacity that I must inquire if you're willing to attempt to resolve the problem of our so-called Cairo, the beast. 
that now blocks all trade traffic. That's a pretty big the... thing, too. So, Witcher, are we willing? Oh, you're coming with me? Work alone. I was here first, and I'll not relinquish this contract. My way or the highway, as the locals put it. You're fine. Your way it is. You must contact the merchants on the waterfront as regards any rewards. Madame de Tanserville has, I believe, already conducted some preliminary negotiations. That That's I useful. have. In that case, don't let me keep you. Triss, how long must I wait for you to introduce us? Sheila de Tanserville, advisor to Queen Zulika of Kovir. Yes. Don't sound like you're very fond of her. True. I had my doubts if the Kran was worth the journey, but those were dispelled with what it showed today. Here to hunt down some ingredients? Triss Merigold. Sharp as ever. You're thinking that. Troll eyes, ghoul venom, virgin's blood, all those disgusting marvels we take from dying species. To throw into the cauldron at Sabbaths. Right, Triss? Absolutely. Virgins are a dying <laughs> Oh my, oh, that's lovely. your sense of humor seems to be intact too. But enough of these pleasantries. Tell me, Geralt, you saw the tentacle. What do you make of it all? Someone the released the Kraken! Huge. Maybe inhabited <laughs> one of the Pontar's tributaries before, hunting animals. Then it grew for some reason, and hunger drove it to seek fresh pastures. And on the Pontar it found trade barges burgeoning with obese, slow-moving merchants. <laughs> You're partly correct. Cedric claims the Kran emerged from the northern swamps approximately one month past. Cedric? An elf. Formerly a Scoia'tael. Strange bird. But he knows quite a bit about the area and its living wonders. I need to look around, find out a few things. Hmm. An investigation. Witcher's rituals, extracting secrets and such. More or less. I'll talk to the merchants about the reward. Pay Cedric a visit and get back to you. You'll find me at the inn. I've rented lodgings there, on the upper floor. You know the inn's also a horror house. Thanks for the warning. <laughs> I have a feeling Triss does not really like her. Alright, so I gotta find this Cedric dude.